on the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Thank you for stopping in for another story time. Today we're reading from the book called Haunt, written by Angela Shelf Medeiros, illustrated by Trina Sharp Hyman. Today's story out of this book is called Last Dance, a do drop in. They buried Buster Williams in a cheap pine box in the heat of one of the worst summers in East Texas history. No one said anything, but everyone knew that Buster's body would be rotten and smelly before the week was out. Buster was a good man, and everyone seemed truly sorry to see him go, except his little Jamie Sue. Some folks wondered how Buster Williams could be walking around town in the morning, healthy as a horse, and dead as a doornail that evening. Some folks said they believed Jamie Sue had a hand in helping Buster out of this world. Rumor had it that Buster carried a large life insurance policy. The minute the funeral was over, Jamie Sue started seeing Willie the piano player at the Dew Drop Inn. They were often seen arm in arm around town talking and gazing into each other's eyes like they were the only two people in the world. Folks couldn't get over how Jamie Sue spent every night at the dance hall swinging to that ragtime beat that Willie played. Most of the time, Jamie Sue stayed out until midnight. Her loud laughter could be heard all over the dance hall. She didn't seem to mind that her neighbors were whispering about her carefree ways. At the time, Buster had been dead only one month. But one night, Jamie Sue was getting ready to go down to the dew drop in when she heard something strange. Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm coming to dance with you, something whispered. Well, Jamie Sue nearly swallowed her teeth. That voice sounded like Buster's. She ran to the window, but nothing was there. I must be hearing things, Jamie Sue said to herself. And she finally finished getting ready for the evening as she grabbed her shiny purse and headed on down the road to the new drop-in. It wasn't quite dark, but the sun was dipping up out the sky mighty fast. Jamie Sue tapped down the road in her high heels and she swung her back and she even hummed a tune. She hadn't gone very far when she heard what she thought were footsteps. Step drag, step drag. In a whisper soft as cotton, a voice said, Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm coming to dance with you. Well, Jamie Sue spun around like a top. She peered down the road. She didn't see anything, but she felt as if someone or something were watching her from the shadows. And chills went up and down her spine. She turned around and she ran all the way down to the dew drop in. But when she was a, when she arrived, oh the party was in full swing. Hey, folks were folks were stomping their feet, snapping their fingers to the jazzy beat that Willie was pounding out on the piano. The bright lights, the laughter and music made Jamie Sue feel safe. Soon she was kicking up her heels with the rest of them. My, how that woman loved to dance. Her skirt swirled around her. Her heels reflected the light like mirrors as she spun around the dance floor. One by one, the dancers started to leave. It wasn't long before Jamie, Sue, and Willie were alone. Willie was playing a slow, sweet song just for Jamie, Sue. When they heard someone knocking at the door, We close! Willie shouted without missing a note, but that door began to rattle and the dead bolt slid back with a squeak. And if by magic, 
the door began to crack open. Jamie Sue stared at the door. Her hands flew to her mouth. Buster Williams stood in the doorway. Maggots crawled busily in and out of his mouth, his nose, his ears. Dust covered his hair and laid in folds of the cheap suit that Jamie Sue had picked out to bury him in. One eye sagged out the socket, but that other stared right at Jamie Sue. Buster's skin hung from his body like moss on a magnolia tree. Bits of flesh dropped down to the floor as Buster Williams slowly moved toward his wife. Step drag, step drag, step drag. Jamie Sue? Jamie Sue? I'm here to dance with you. Buster said. He held out the two long thin arms that used to be full arms that flesh had been picked clean by the vermin that lived in the graveyard. No! No! Jamie Sue screamed. Get away from me Buster. You're supposed to be dead. Jamie Sue? Jamie Sue? I'm here to dance with you. Buster repeated as he crossed the dance floor. Step drag, step drag, step drag. Buster's claw-like fingers grabbed Jamie Sue around the wrist and pulled her towards him. He embraced her, and they began to move jerkily across the dance floor. Buster's smell was horrible. Decomposing flesh. It made Jamie Sue gag and the mice nestled in the pockets of Buster's burial began to run around. The tattered fabric hung on his moldy green frame like scarecrow's rags. Help me, Willie! Jamie Sue screamed, help me! <laughs> Willie jumped up from the piano bench and started to pull on Jamie Sue's other arm. But with his one good eye, Buster fixed it right on Willie with an evil pick. Piercing stare. <laughs> Willie trembled and he dropped Jamie Sue's arm as if it was something hot. Play that piano, man, Buster demanded. He bared a mouthful of rotten yellow teeth and he growled at Willie. Well, Willie sat down at the piano and began playing a ragtime tune as if his very life demanded, depended on it. Dance, Buster commanded Jamie Sue. And Jamie Sue stared into the empty socket that once housed Buster's eye. She could see clear through his skull. Dance, Buster said again. He shook her until her hairpins hit the floor. Well, Jamie Sue began to dance like she'd never danced before. Buster danced too. <laughs> That's what you want to call him. His left foot had been eaten clean off to his ankle by a graveyard rat. But he jumped up and down to the music. Once, during a fast piece, Buster's right foot snapped clean off, and the bones littered the dance floor. Jamie Sue tried to step around them as best as she could, but her heel crushed several toes. You stepping on my feet, Buster said, and he bared what was left of his teeth in a deathly smile. <laughs> and Jamie Sue looked like she was going to faint. Buster shook her again. You keep dancing, he demanded. Well, Jamie Sue forced herself to keep moving. Buster continued to dance on those ankle stumps of his as if they were the finest party shoes. Oh. And the air whistled through his bones. During one of Buster's wilder spins, his left arm broke off and fell clean across the floor. It hit the wall and shattered into a fire tower. But Buster, he kept right on dancing. Now Buster and Jamie Sue had been dancing there for almost two hours. Sweat poured all down Jamie Sue's face. Her hair hung limply in an untidy mess. One of the heels had broken off her shoes. Willie started to play, slower now and slower. Jamie Sue was barely moving her feet. Buster was dancing faster than ever. 
for. But bit by bit, Buster started losing pieces of himself. A leg bone fell to the floor after he tried to do a split. Oh. He hopped along though on that one leg as if nothing happened. Breathless, Jamie Sue pushed hair out of her eyes. She stared at Buster. A fine white powder covered the floor where his bones had been crushed into a powder as they danced. Maybe I can dance him to death, Jamie Sue thought. Play faster, Willie! Jamie Sue said she grabbed Buster by his remaining arm and began swinging him around. Play, Buster said. Dust flew from his raggedy clothes as he twirled around the floor. He threw back his head and he let loose a high-pitched giggle. <laughs> his black and swollen tongue rolled out of his mouth and hung there like a thread of skin. <sighs> Willie began playing faster and faster. Ding, 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 ding. His fingertips were swollen and red, but he pounded out one tune, one dance tune after another. Go, Willie, go! His fingers flew up and down the keyboard in a blur of motion. But the faster Willie played, the faster Buster danced. But piece by piece, Buster kept falling. And Jamie Sue crushed each bone beneath her feet as it fell to the floor. She stomped on his leg bone. She tap danced across his rib bones. She two stepped on his shin bones, roombud across his shoulder blade bones, and bugging on his spine bones until nothing was left beneath her feet but a fine white powder. Sweat poured all down the face. But she continued to dance until there was nothing left of Buster, except for his head. And it spun around and around in the middle of the floor in time with the music. Suddenly, the music stopped. Willie had slumped across the piano. He fainted. Jamie Sue, she stopped dancing. She picked up Buster's head by his hair, and Buster's one good eye rolled over. He fixed it on Jamie Sue with a look that froze her blood. Jamie Sue, Buster said, I want to dance with you. We're through dancing, Buster, Jamie Sue said, and she threw his head against the wall. It banged up against the wooden boards and bounced to the floor, spun around a few times, but then it rolled toward her. Jamie Sue, Buster said as his head clattered across the floor, I want to dance with you. Screaming loudly, ah, ah, Jamie Sue ran out the door. But that head continued to roll after her. And Jamie Sue ran down the dark road as fast as she could. But the head bounced along beside her. Buster Williams calling out to his wife over and over the same thing. Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I want to dance with you. And that is from the book Haunts the Story. Last Dance at Do Drop In, written by Angela Shelf Medeiros and illustrated by Trina Short Hyman. Take care, readers. May all your dances be better than Jamie Sue's. And drop in somewhere, but be safe. Bye for now. I want to dance with you.